Welcome back to our weekly program, Words to Live By. This is your friend and pastor, Daniel Perez, and I am very excited to be here. This is um, our program number three, and we have begun our program, Words to Live By, with the topic, the Bible study, the Seventh-day Sabbath. So if you have not um, seen the first two uh, Bible studies, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel in... Uh, and you're able to see the Bible studies there. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for your support. And we especially thank you for your prayers as we try to share through the eyes of Pastor Perez um, very important Bible topics such as is the Seventh-day Sabbath. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and begin. And let's, uh, let's start with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the privilege and the honor that you gave us again today to be with you and to bring your word forth in this space we call internet. We thank you for all of those who are watching and listening. We pray that you touch their hearts, Father. And even though we may hear things that we have never heard before, we encourage our listeners to open your word and do the research themselves because we are only bringing to them Bible truth. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right. Thank you again for being with us. Uh, today, we are going to, we're going to continue our Bible study on the Seventh-day Sabbath. This is, uh, this is part three of our Bible study on um, the Seventh-day Sabbath. And before we begin, I'd like to start with a couple of Bible verses. Let's start with a couple of Bible verses. Um, we're going to read 1 John 2, 5 and 6, and 1 John 5, 3. Amen? The Word of God says, But if anyone obeys his word, if anyone 
obeys his word, God's love is truly made complete in him. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. Amen. And 1 John 5, 3 says, this is love for God. This is love for God to obey. Hmm. To obey his commands and his commands are not burdensome. <laughs> May the Lord add a special blessing to his word tonight. Amen. So last week, we ended our program talking about the three main reasons why our brothers and sisters who keep Sunday, who go to church on Sunday, who worship God on Sunday, and not just worship God, because, you know, you can worship God, God any, any day of the week. We've already talked about this. We're, we're talking about the, 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 the Sabbath day, right? The day that the, the Bible calls the Sabbath, the day of rest, the day that the Lord sanctified and separated and made it holy. So the three main reasons that we discuss, we share with you um, about our, our friends and, and family members and brothers and sisters who, who, who chose Sunday, uh, the first day of the week is the because of the resurrection day, because of the new creation, and also because of Pentecost. Now, on the last week Bible study, I I, I discussed this um, with a little bit more detail, so you're welcome to go back and and look at that study. Amen. And again, you know, uh, I, I'm going to be redundant. <laughs> and make a lot of emphasis on some of the things that we are going to share with you. And I need to do that. I need to be redundant. Uh, you know, don't, don't, don't say, well, Pastor Perez is repeating himself too much, but I need to do that. I really need to do that. I feel I need to do that because I, I want you to get this. I want you to understand that this is not something that the Seventh-day Adventist Church has come up with. This is not, you know, this is not something that, that we invented. And, 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 and as we progress... In, in, in this Bible study about the seventh day Sabbath, you're going to realize how important this day is. Amen. Um, so yeah, just, just stick around with us and, and, I, and I'm sure that you're going to be blessed. But again, you can worship God on any day, any day of the week. But we are discussing on this Bible study, what is the day that the Lord chose? God himself. Amen. So we're going to share with you Bible truth. I'm going to share with you the Bible verses. We're going to take our time, and I encourage you, please, if you have a question, any question, whatever it may be, just, just put it in the chat. If you don't want to make the question public, um, you can go to my Facebook uh, page, and you can go ahead and send me a message there. You can go to Words to Live By, or just go to uh, uh, Daniel Perez, and uh, either page, um, it'll get to me. Just send me a message. You send me a message. I, I'd rather you do that than, than you stay with the doubt or you just completely ignore it and just walk away and say, oh, forget about this. I don't want nothing to do with this, okay? Because that's the worst thing that anyone can do, okay? When it comes to Bible truth, when it comes to you understanding what God wants you to understand, you have to have an open heart. You've got to have an open mind. You can't, just because you were born Catholic all your life or Methodist all your life or Baptist all your life, you know, or Pentecost all your life, that, that doesn't mean that everything, everything that you believe is according to Scripture, right? Same goes with the Seventh-day Adventists. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of Adventists out there that got weird, weird way of thinking and, and interpreting the Bible. Let me tell you that, right? So um, we're not exempt. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, you know, we want to share with you Bible truth and, and, and you have the liberty, right, to do your own research and ask questions. Ask questions. Amen. So let's go ahead and continue here. Let's go ahead and open up the word of God again in the book of Proverbs. Let's, let's talk about this a little bit. The book of Proverbs 21, chapter 2, I mean, chapter 21, I'm sorry, and verse 2 and 3. 21, 2 and 3. It says, every man... Every, every way of, of man, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Let me, let me read that again. Proverbs 21 verse 2 says, Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth. Mm. The Lord pondereth the hearts. Verse 3, 
to do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. The word pondereth in Hebrew is takan, takan, which means to balance, to measure out, and to examine the motives, okay? So, so th this means, my dear friends, that to do justice, to do justify, and to speak the truth are more pleasing to God, check this out, than the blood of sacrifice. Hmm. I wish I had time to just <laughs> to dissect this. We'll be here for an hour or more just dissecting this verse right here. The superiority, check this out. The superiority of moral obedience to ceremonial worship is often incalculated. Hmm. What, what are you saying, Pastor Perez? What I'm saying is, my dear friend, is that obedience to God, check this out, obedience to God, according to these two verses, supersedes being good. Mm, mm, mm. I, I hope you got because because that's what I got, all right? Obedience to God supersedes being good. That means obedience to God supersedes works. To do justice and judgment, the Bible says, is more acceptable. Mm -mm -mm. Is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. What are you saying, Pastor? There are hundreds and thousands of people in the world today that are taking the first day of the week as the day God asks us to keep holy. They think that it's not a big deal. And, 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 and when you talk to them about the seventh day, about the seventh day Sabbath, the, the Bible Sabbath, they push you away. They want nothing to do with you. Mm. So, so while you may think that keeping Sunday is right in your eyes, check this out. God, according to the verse that we just read, is examining your heart. While you may think that keeping Sunday, the first day of the week, holy, as the day that God, that God told us to keep holy in the Bible, it may be right in your eyes. God is, 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 is examining your heart. What, what are you saying, Pastor? What, what I'm saying is that are you being honest with God? about this day are you being honest with god about keeping sunday holy or are you knowingly mm -mm -mm, are you knowingly rejecting the truth about the seventh day sabbath that's what this verse means amen check this out check out what jesus said himself jesus said himself john 14 21 he that hath my commandments, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them. You have them and you keep them. Jesus said, he is, he it, he it is that loveth me. He that hath my commandments, he that keepeth my commandments, he is the one that loves me. Mm -mm -mm. That's powerful. And he that loveth me, Jesus said, if he that loveth me shall be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. D did you just notice, my dear friend, did you just notice, notice what is happening here in these verses? All the things that, that we can receive just by keeping the commandments of the Lord. Having the commandments of God, when, when Jesus said, he that hath my commandments. So by having the commandments means to know and understand them. 
When you have the commandments, you know the commandments, and you understand the commandments. But that is not enough, my dear friends. That is not enough. It is also necessary to keep the commandments. That's why he says, if you have them and keep them, if it wasn't important for us to keep the commandments, if it was just enough for us to know about the commandments and understand the commandments and ignore the commandments, Jesus would have never said and keepeth them. Are, are you with me? So it's not just enough for us to go back to the book of Exodus and read the Ten Commandments, but it is also necessary, Jesus said, to keep it. And, he, and here's what happens. Mm. If, you, if you do this, if you have the commandments, if you, if you understand the commandments, if you know the commandments and you keep the commandments, Jesus said, you... Mm -mm. You are the one who truly loves me. And, and, and then he says, and my father will love you in return. Hallelujah. You, you see what's happening? And then Jesus says, and then I will love you myself. And not only will I love you, I will manifest myself in you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see how important it is? my dear friends, to keep the commandments of God? I'm not coming up with this idea. The Seventh-day Adventist church is not coming up with this idea. This is Bible truth. And we need to respect the Word of God because the entire Bible is the Word of God. From Genesis to Revelation, we can't not nitpick whatever we feel like it to satisfy our needs or our wants, hmm, let me not go there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's keep reading the Word of God because we are talking about Bible truth here. John 14, 15. John 14, 15 says, this is Jesus again speaking, you know, talking about, about keeping the, the commandments, right? Jesus says, if ye love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. That is very simple. There is nothing else on this Bible verse. There is no other thing that we need to do. All, all Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So the, 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 the reverse of this is, if you don't keep the commandments, you don't love Jesus. Mm. Oh. Don't walk around saying, I love Jesus, if you don't keep his commandments. Do you understand what the pastor is saying? What the word of God is saying? If you, if you walk around saying, I love Jesus, thank you, Jesus, I praise you, Jesus, hallelujah to Jesus, thank you, God, for the son, thank you for the sacrifice, thank you for the cross, but you are not keeping God's commandments, you're not speaking truth. I'm sorry to tell you. You're not. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Hmm. Let's read this commandment. Let's go over this commandment that is so important to us. And, 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 it, and it is the central focus of our Bible study, the seventh day Sabbath. Can we do that? Exodus 20, verses 8 to 11. Right? This is, this is 8 and 9, verses 8 and 9. Exodus 28 says, Remember, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember, this is a commandment of God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days, verse 9. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Mm. Six days. Not all seven days, six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. Mm. The seventh day, not the first day. The commandment says the seventh day is the Sabbath. The Sabbath means it is the day of rest. It is the day of rest of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. 
thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy servant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Verse 11, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. May the Lord add a special blessing on this word. Amen. The seventh day. So now, now I, I know that some of you will say, well, Pastor Perez, the Sabbath commandment was abolished on the cross when Jesus died. Some of you are probably saying that right now. I also know that some of you may say or are probably saying right now that the Sabbath was only for the Jews, that it does not apply to us today. Now, these, these can be excuses or they could be misunderstanding of Scripture. Either one, right? And, 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 and we're going to discuss all these excuses or all these misunderstandings and many more when the time comes. I don't want to jump the plan that I have. <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself because when I do that, it, 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 become, it, it becomes a, a, a mess in, in my mind. My, my mind works in, in a special way that, that I only can understand it. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about, we're going to see if, if the Sabbath was truly abolished on the cross. We're going to see if the Sabbath was truly only for the Jews. Uh, we're going to see all that. It, it, it is why I, I encourage you to, to, um, to, uh, to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. And, and, and every time Pastor Perez goes live or puts a video on here, um, you will be able to see it. And we don't want you to miss the blessings. Amen? So, so you will see, my dear friends, that throughout these Bible studies, including this one, the Sabbath, um, we're going to see that the seventh day Sabbath is not just a day. This is what I want you to understand. It is not just a day. Like some people say, well, it doesn't matter Sunday or Saturday. Well, it does matter. It does matter because God is a God of details. There's a lot of things we're going to talk about, like the manna, when the Lord sent the manna to the people of Israel. If you read the verse, God sent the manna for two reasons. One was to feed the Israelites, and the other one was to test them. Amen. And see, now I'm getting ahead of myself again. <laughs> so so it's, not, it's not just a day. It is the day. It is the day that the Lord made. Think about this, right? Think about this as, as um, we're wrapping up our, our session for tonight. Think about this, please. What was, what, what was the need for this day? Because the emphasis is that God rested. But God doesn't need to rest. You, you follow me, please. Everything was done in six days. At the end of the sixth day, the Lord made man and woman, Adam and Eve, right? And then that was it. Why? Why add another day so God can rest when God did not need it to rest? And why sanctify this day? Why separate it? All those things we want you to understand. So we don't want you to look at the, we don't want you to look at the seventh day Sabbath as just a day. It is not just a day. It is so important that it's in one of the commandments of God. It is so important that, that it, it was in, in the creation. Uh, we're going to get to all this. But it is not, it is not just a day. Amen. So we're going to be working all this together. We're going to work all this together as, as we move Along. Let's go ahead and, and touch on one more thing before we, we conclude. Let's, let's, let's talk about 
Let, let's talk. Let's go to the Bible. Let's 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 see. Let's see where the Bible is going to show us the Sabbath. And, and from Genesis to Revelation, oh Lord, this is going to be good. Amen. So so as we just saw, God recorded the fourth commandment, right? The Sabbath. God recorded the Sabbath in the fourth commandment as we just read, right? But before we continue, because we're talking about the Ten Commandments, right? Before we continue, I want to share with you that the Catholic Church, all right, and the Lutherans, the Catholic Church and the Lutherans change the commandment as they are in the Bible, okay? The Catholic Church and the Lutheran brothers and sisters, they removed the third commandment. You can look it up, okay? They removed the third commandment that orders not to make unto us any graven image or to bow to them or to worship them. And they took the 10th commandment and they split it in half. They split it in two. Do not covet thy neighbor's wife and do not covet thy neighbor's property, which is all one commandment, not two commandments, but they separated it. Okay? So the abbreviated set up uh, uh, Ten Commandments. I want to share that with you. Uh, uh, I don't want to make these Bible studies too long, but I just I just get, get tempted to continue. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's just go over the Ten Commandments, and then we will conclude tonight's session. Amen. The Ten Commandments, as they are in Scripture, you shall not have other gods but me, the Lord says. Amen. Uh, also, you shall not make unto you any graven images. Amen. Number three, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Amen. Number four is, is the topic of our Bible study. You shall remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Number five, honor your mother and your father. And, and this, this commandment, commandment number five, it is the only commandment that has a promise attached to it. Amen. Uh, commandment number six you shall not murder. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Number eight, you shall not steal. Number nine, you shall not bear false witness. And number 10, you shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you for being with me in this Bible study. Um, I want to thank you for your support. I want to ask you to please Pray for Pastor Perez. Pray, pray for my ministry. I want, to, I want to ask you to pray for my district. I have a church in Amarillo, Texas, and I have a church in Lubbock, Texas. Um, God, God is working uh, marvelously in our district, and I'm so happy. Uh, I've been here for a little bit over a year, and the things that the Lord is doing with our church members um, in our community as we as we keep moving forward, you know, finding ways to reach the community for God. God, God is just working, you know, miracles. Uh, sometimes we we don't see these little details, but like I said earlier, God is a God of details. Amen. So please, you know, thank you for your support. Subscribe to my channel. Um, that way, you can get all 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 the the uh, the things that i put on here to share this channel is strictly for the business of the lord amen for god's word for god's business for god's cause amen words to live by amen so i want to thank you i want to pray for you again if you have a, a special prayer request just put it in the chat or find my facebook page i don't know if i can link it to my youtube i, I don't know i'll find out if i can i think i can um, so I'm going to put it in the description so you can just link into my f Facebook page and go to Messenger. Just send me a message. I'll pray for you. Um, and if you have any questions, any concerns about this Bible study, the Seventh-day Sabbath, you can also ask. Amen? If I don't know it because I don't know everything, I will find it. I will find it using the Word of God. Amen? Let's pray. Father God, thank you again for allowing us to be here with our friends and family, our members, our church members, our extended church family here on the Internet. Thank you for this Bible study. We continue to pray for the hearts and the minds of people, Father, as we share your Word with them. We ask you that you give them the understanding because sometimes we've been doing things for so long in a certain way, but if the Bible says we're wrong, then we have to go with the Bible. So I ask you, Lord, please bless everyone who is going to be coming across these messages. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. 
Amen. Thank you again for being with me. A big kiss and a big hug from your friend, Pastor Daniel Perez. God bless you. We'll see you on the next program.